Now, don't you just love sitting down to dinner and getting calls like this? Would you be interested in finding out how to get an extra cash or capital for your business? Do you want to improve your credit score and get out of debt? Your number has been qualified to receive $100 gasoline gas card, okay? You are still eligible to reactivate warranty coverage. This is the final call before we close the file. Well, the FTC now cracking down on those annoying telemarketers, but if they do get through, what can you do to fight back? Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson Jr. Good joins us. Good now. morning, Elizabeth. Good How are you? Good morning. So there are the new regulations that are supposed October 16th. What are they? And they're supposed to be huge, and businesses are really afraid of them. It's not enough to say that you had an established relationship with someone by getting their phone number and say, I called because of that. Under the law now, you need prior written consent from the phone holder to call their house and call their cell phone. So we have some tips to help people respond to these calls that they do not want. First thing you need to do is register for the uh, national do not call list, 888-382-1222. Okay. That will stop it, hopefully, although sometimes it, it doesn't. Right, I feel like you still get them Now, sometimes. when you get that call and they say, hello, uh, hello, and you say, is that a person or is that a robot? Say. Put me on your internal do not call list. So you have to say, put, I always just say, put me on your do not call list, or another word comes out instead of internal. Yes. Accidentally. Yes, it's an accidental word. It's, right. and it's, and it, but the problem is, it's tough for the robot to understand that. So you say, in, put me on your internal do not call list, maybe do it in robot language, okay. and they'll, they'll respond to you at, at, at that point. The third thing you can actually do is file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission. Okay. Or actually sue these folks, but those that's suits, involved, isn't it? It's very involved, and maybe you get five hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars, thousand dollars. Very rarely sued. Maybe the most effective thing to do is use some of these anti telemarketing apps that are on the market. They will actually stop these calls. Oh. They will also some of them send uh, uh, complaints directly in real time to the FTC about these uh, calls. And so they'll be able to pick up the number that you're actually getting and to stop these calls. Sure, I've been he uh, hearing about two of them, Privacy Star and then is it No More no, Robo? Or no, no More, more Robo. Robo. No More Robo. <laughs> okay. And they're both free apps and you go to the oh. you go online and you get them and, and they're pretty effective. Okay, good. Yeah, I've heard Privacy Star is actually helping people file. So business Businesses are afraid they should be. Fines, new regulations, and uh, better uh, rights for Americans. But y you have to be vigilant. And I'll be sure to say internal, not my other Internal. Word, Put me on your internal call list. Peter Johnson. No more robos. No more robocalls. <laughs> no more robocalls. Good to see you. All right, thanks to Peter Johnson. Thanks, Elizabeth.